Good day, everybody, and welcome back to our playthrough of Dinkum. We are now on episode 120 of our playthrough. Now, before I get the day started, guys, I have a uh, bit of an update for you guys. By the time you watch this episode, I would have been, uh, I guess, on my way to a little bit of a holiday, actually. I'm uh, taking the family out to Tasmania. And uh, that's essentially a destination that I haven't been to for quite a while. Uh, and in fact, it is sort of the first holiday that we've had uh, ever since uh, we came out of lockdown in the pandemic. So yeah, just taking a little bit of a break, guys. Um, thought I'd just let you guys know. Now, in terms of uh, content, I mean, there's nothing really for you guys to worry about because... As you may know by now, um, I do record all of the uh, the videos well in advance, actually. So, um, and I've been working my ass off trying to record as many videos as I can before going. Uh, so, you should actually see quite a few videos lined up uh, on a daily basis. So, you'll probably find that there is nothing to fear. Uh, you'll get your daily dose of dinkum if that's your thing um, and yeah by the time I'm back hopefully there still be uh, a few videos to go before I actually have to make some more so uh, but yeah hopefully hopefully you enjoy um, all of the videos while I'm away um, it does mean though that I'm gonna take extra long to actually respond to uh, a lot of your comments guys so I mean, I think some of you may have uh, already gotten used to the timing by now because, uh, yeah, I definitely don't reply very quickly and I do apologize about that, guys. It's just, you know, there is real life to deal with as well, so I can't constantly uh, reply to comments uh, as soon as they appear, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, enough of me and the update uh hope you guys are all doing well i'm just here doing what we need to do in the farm early in the morning as usual let's just grab that poo there very good very nice and let's grab this magpie yeah so tasmania is an interesting destination guys i uh I've been there before, uh, but this is years and years ago, when I was still back in uni. And, uh, yeah, I didn't really have a car back then, so I was at the mercy of uh, friends who did drive. And, yeah, it was an interesting trip. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to going there again, because uh, this time around I'm bringing my own car. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be glorious, I reckon. Uh, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, for me, real time right now, it's still going to be about a week and a little bit away, but, um, yeah, by the time you guys see this video, I would have, I think, already arrived, um, in Devonport. So, uh, gonna be exciting. It's, uh, gonna be a, a huge road trip. And I haven't actually driven, uh, around in... Tasmania myself, so that'll be a first. So, gonna be very, very interesting. Uh, and obviously, I don't know the roads and all that sort of stuff, so, uh, you know, a little bit scary, I suppose, but uh, hey, it's a bit of an adventure. Actually, forgot to water these ones right here okay there we go I don't know this morning seems to be a bit of a struggle when it comes to all of the farming for some reason guys so um, I guess I'm just trying to do two things at once talk to you guys plus do all of the farming and uh, try to coherently talk about um, uh, some of the updates that I've got for you guys so uh, I'm not entirely sure why we're hanging on to the eastern lamp, to be honest, so uh, I'm just going to put that back down there. 
Uh, oh yeah, we've got white boots here. I'm just trying to recall why I've got that. Ah yes, all right, so we've got a bit of a storage issue. I'm gonna have to use this wooden crate to start storing some clothes as well. I am thinking, guys, it might actually be wise uh, if we started selling off some of the clothes, uh, particularly the ones that we don't really wear regularly. Um, just trying to think if there's anything else we need to do for the farm, but I think the answer is no. Oh yes, there is one more thing. We need to look after Spike. So I mustn't forget to feed him his breakfast. Hey boy. There you go. Very good. Alright. And yeah, I suppose he can tag along with us for a little bit. Alright. And do I need to store anything else here? Actually, I've got these small glasses. You know what? We can probably just wear that. And yeah, we've got a few things that we want to sell to John, but it is a Sunday, unfortunately. So we're going to have to hang on to all of this stuff for a little bit more. And yeah, we we crafted the flaming bat yesterday, so that's uh, very interesting. Haven't really needed to use it on anything just yet, but uh, I actually can't wait to try it out. <laughs> as violent as it looks, um, I am excited. <laughs> All right, now let's head into town and see what's going on there. Now I'm trying to decide what we should get up to today as well. Task-wise, uh, let's see here. Okay, we don't have anything just yet. Franklin wants to practice some smelting. He needs five tin ores. That's going to be very easy to do. Let's check out the recycling bin sausage roll. Thank you very much. We will maybe consume that sometime soon, preferably. Uh, oh yeah, that gives us plus 30 for both the health and stamina bars. Um, I don't know if we're going to be doing anything stamina or health intensive today, but we'll see. Let's check out Mil- uh, sorry, not Milburn, uh, Melvin's shop. Oh, what a bunk bed. Never seen that before. Fruit bowl. Hmm, alright. I'm still waiting for another Nordic uh, bookcase. Actually, sorry guys, I just realized, but we can actually commission that. Can you make something? Sure can. Have a look. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, no, that's not the right one. Here, the warm Nordic bookshelf. Yeah, absolutely, it's order that. Order complete, you'll receive the item in the mail by tomorrow. Ah, oh, fantastic. All right, and that would have improved our relationship with Melvin as well, right? So, all right. Let's have a look at the debt situation here. So we've still got 307,000 dink to go. It's actually quite a lot. Uh, let's start donating here. So let's go 100,000. And we'll see if we can try and make the rest uh, sometime soon. Uh, we do need some ores for Franklin. I think uh, it's tin. Let's just have a quick look here. Uh, okay, so we've got tomatoes, we got watermelon, and we got some sugarcane. I think we should just keep going with the sugarcane uh, for now. I totally made a, a big boo boo in the previous episode, guys. I said that we were going to replant some crops in that farm section that we harvested, and then I completely forgot about it, so. We better get to that today. Uh, okay, so Franklin doesn't work on Sundays. So he must be somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where he likes to hang out. Hmm. Alright. Just to uh, get a few things going here 
in the workshop. Let's grab our ores. Uh, oh yeah, we've got iron ores here already. Let's get the iron ores smelting. And copper ores as well. I'll probably leave the tin ores for now, just in case, because uh, I could very easily smelt all of that without actually giving it to Franklin, so... Let's put all of these brews here. And we've got the milk. Should just leave the milk here. Uh, actually, we don't have space for high quality milk. Let's just chuck it in here. And cheese goes in here. Now you might be wondering why I'm not starting the cheese production. I do want to bank up a little bit more milk guys, so uh, I did mention that in the previous episode. Uh, okay, we can start a bottle brew and we can also do another uh, bottle flower blue, uh, brew as well. All right. We should get the wool going. And yeah, let's see if we can find Franklin somewhere. There he is. Ah. Oh. Bloody hell. <laughs> ah, here we go. Good day. I completed your request. You brought me five tin ores? Here you go. Uh, thank you, Blue. Take these three tin bars. I just like smelting them and I don't really need them. Okay. <laughs> They're just like running away from the crop. <laughs> Now, I'm not entirely sure how the mechanic goes, guys. Uh, I have a feeling that Spike doesn't actually attract any of the dangerous animals. Uh, which is really nice, actually, because uh, then I don't really need to be too worried about his well-being. Uh, except for, obviously, feeding him, of course. But, um, anyway. I think we should go back to town... And, sorry, not town. We should go back to the farm and very quickly deal with the sugarcane because uh, we have a very real risk of forgetting about it. So I want the fertilizer and the watering can. Let's just very quickly fill up the watering can just in case. Alright, now I think um, if we're going to try and make some more money, um, I mean the the most lucrative thing would probably be going into uh, the deep mines, but I don't think I want to do that right now because we've sort of dilly-dallied around during the day already and uh, yeah, I, <laughs> I figure it's probably going to be more beneficial if we do that tomorrow, for example, uh, instead of trying to do it today, because otherwise we'll just go in and then we'd have to come back out again. Plus, uh, John hasn't opened his shop today, so we're not going to be able to uh, get ourselves a mine pass anyway, right? We might reserve going the going to the um, sorry, want those poos. There we go. We might reserve going to the deep mines uh, tomorrow. So the only other way I can think of making more money is if we sell stuff to John tomorrow morning, and I'm thinking maybe we can go out and harvest some more pearls and I think that might be a pretty good activity for the day so actually before we do that let's just quickly pet Spike once more so he doesn't decide to follow us <laughs> into the deep waters 
because the last thing I want is him getting eaten by a shark, so... Um, inventory space is a bit of a problem as well, isn't it? I totally forgot to... Um, to leave our honey behind. I might actually have one of the honeys. It'll just uh, give us a little bit more stamina. Another thing we should think about doing today, considering we might go to the deep mines tomorrow, is... Uh, that's the, the whistle for Ted Selly, right? So he must be around somewhere. Hang on a second, guys. I just want to look for him. Ah, there he is. Uh, the reason why I do want to look for him uh, is because this is going to really uh, help us clear out our pockets for now. Uh, what can I do for you? Let's... Oh yeah, uh, do you want to buy anything? Yeah mate, I'll buy anything you've hunted at a premium. Very good. And take all of those things. So let's see how much money we can get. Very nice indeed. Tell you what, how does 14,751 sound? That is a deal. I'll take these items and here's your 14,000. Pleasure as always, Blue. Very good. Uh, and let's just take a quick look at the things that he can craft for us. Because, if possible, I'd like to get the Bat Zapper and... Um, oh, okay, so this is going to be a bit tough, isn't it? Because we need a hundred thousand Dink, the bank's not open, right wires. Uh, we may not have the required bright wires, to be honest. I think we've got one. We certainly have enough glowing mushrooms and iron bars and hot cylinders. Thunder sacks, yeah, I'm not sure if we've got three, actually. We've got the torch. Yeah, alright, I'm, I'm gonna have to pass this one again, guys, but... Uh, I think if we can bank enough bright wires um, in the immediate future... We should try and save some to actually get the Bat Zapper when we see Ted Sully next time. Oh man, that's so tempting, but uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, again, he's also shown up on a Sunday of all days, so I suspect it's a lot easier to find him on a Sunday. But anyway, let's go out and let's... See if we can fetch some more pearls. And that'll be our main source of income for the day. Let's just mark it. And yeah, let's see if we can get as many pearls as we can. We might stop here and there to see if we can uh, grab a few things in the ocean. On the ocean floor, that is. Okay, there's one actually right nearby, just over here. Nice. Grab that and grab the urchin, or sorry, sea urchin. Um, ooh, and tempting, but uh, I would like to get myself some more jellies as well. Okay, that was uh, a little bit bugged out for a little bit there. Thought I was uh, going to be stuck for a moment there. Alright. Our iron spear is actually running very low as well. Um, ooh, okay, there's muddled crab. Yes, nice. Alright, next pearl. Yeah, maybe uh, once we find uh, all of the pearls that we've already marked, we should actually um, see if we can 
uh, jet ski around and see if we can find any more. Because, uh, yeah, if we mark quite a few of them before the end of the season, you know, we should be able to come back to all of them and just continually harvest them, right? I mean, I'm not entirely sure if I want to, you know, go out to sea every single day, but uh, if there is not much else to do, it's not a bad source of income. I wonder if Ted actually takes pearls at a premium as well. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we can get this one. Nice. Okay, uh, so I think we are going to also need to think about crafting ourselves another spear, guys, because the spear is going to be very important when we go to the deep mines tomorrow. So, um, I most certainly would like to go into the deep mines with a spear prepared. Here we go, here's another pearl. And I don't think we've marked this one, actually. Also grab whatever this thing is. Nice. Alright, let's just quickly put another marker down here. Very good. Alright. A little bit close to that shark. Okay, too quick. Nice. There we go. Yeah, just keeping my eyes peeled, guys, for any more that we haven't marked. So, here's another one. Let's just drop down a marker and we'll keep going. Yeah, it seems to be a lot of sharks out and about today. Yeah, some days it's very hard to find them. Other days they're just left, right and center. Like today. Alright. There we go. And yeah, we did have one more over there. That's probably going to be the last one, unless we find some more somewhere. Now, uh, one other thing that I'm not entirely sure of is whether or not Ted appears and just stays in the same area when he does appear for the day. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure of the mechanic there. Uh, I have a pearl marker here, but no pearl. <laughs> so, what's the deal there? Ah, oh, I think maybe this could have been an old pearl marker. Possibly. Either that or maybe a marker that we left for um, maybe the deep mines or something. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. Alright, well, I think it's time to just swing back around into town and I'm just going to go south uh, to do that.
So, uh, yeah, and then we'll sort of work our way, and I don't know, maybe we'll see if we can try and find Ted again, because I am curious actually if he uh, would buy pearls from us. And in the process, we'll obviously just keep our, our, our eyes peeled once more for whatever we can find in the ocean, uh, preferably some more pearls if we can. There we go. Good find. Actually, we better put a marker down here, shouldn't we? Oops. Alright. There we go. Here's another one. Very nice. How many pearls do we have now? Eight. Very good. Uh, let's place another marker here. Alright. Now... Where are we? Okay, we're almost there. Once we hit the waypoint, we just need to take a left. Not before we grab all the pearls in the area. Jeez. Alright. Pearl Central over here. going the right way. Sort of. Um, I think we want to sort of make it around that way. Whoop, almost missed this one. And what is this one? Sea urchin. I'll take it. I wonder if there's any devices or any tools that can make uh, fighting creatures that are underwater a little bit easier. You know, I'd love to be able to get those jellies a lot easier or even get some flake a lot easier as well. Take a crab. And whatever this is. Another tiger prawn. Very good. How's our inventory looking? Not too bad. Alright, let's keep going north now. And let's maybe set the boat as a bit of a target here. Still keeping an eye out for any pearls. I don't suppose there would be pearls in the rivers, right? Ooh, plenty of uh, coconuts ready for harvest, so I might actually just grab quite a few of them, since we can. Ooh, and shells as well. Forgot about shells. And there goes our inventory. <laughs> Alright, very good. That's all the coconuts available to us here. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind replanting a few coconuts, but uh, we'll probably do that another day. The reason is we are sort of running out of time in the day here. And I still have a few things that we need to do. One is to see if we can find Ted once more. Because uh, I do want to see if he accepts pearls. I just can't remember where he was. Was it around this side? Let's just see if we can just jump through here. Very good. And yeah, if I recall... We took the jet ski and we sort of went this way. And soon after we left, we heard the whistle. So I assume he's around here somewhere. I think. Ah, oh, there he is. Let's have a chat with him again and see if he'll buy our pearls. Ah, blue. Always nice bumping into you. What can I do? Uh, what what can I do you for? Uh, do you want to buy anything? Yeah, mate. I'll buy anything you've hunted at a premium. Ah, oh, darn. He doesn't take pearls. He'll take all of this stuff though, so we might as well. And he can have the flake as well. Very nice indeed. Tell you what, how does nineteen thousand sound? Sure. You beauty. I'll take these items and here's your 19,000 dink. Pleasure is always blue. Very nice. Okay. And with that done, let's just quickly go back to the house. Uh, can we make it? Yes, we can. Nice. <laughs> Uh, I want to go back to the house and pick up our repair kit, guys, and uh, we'll quickly uh, also pick up all of the other tools that we've got stored, and yeah, we'll repair everything, and that way we'll sort of be ready for our excursion to the deep mines. Uh, where's our repair kit? Ah, oh, okay. Our repair kit doesn't seem to be here. Uh, maybe we stored it in town. That's alright. We should be able to go into town pretty quickly. And uh, yeah, if we've got the time as well, we should also craft us that spear. Because uh, I want to be as prepared as we can be uh, for tomorrow morning. So, repair kit is right here. Alright. Do we have all of the tools that we want to repair? I think so. Yeah, let's do it. Should I use a repair kit to repair all the tools in my pockets? Absolutely. Very nice. Okay, and... Um, oh yes, that's right, the, the spear. So let's take a look at what's required. So we need some palm wood and some iron bars. I think that's going to be very easy. So palm wood, yeah, we've got some. And iron bars. Brilliant. Very nice. And just like that, we've got a new iron spear to work with. So, let's put a few things away here. Uh, that... Ores... Actually, these ores have to go to Franklin, right? Oh, actually, no, we've already given him his ores for the day. Chuck that there. Chuck the bottle brush. Uh, yes, actually, that's correct. The honey... Actually, honey goes in here. And the sugar goes here. Iron. Probably don't need to be bringing the gum nuts with us. Uh, we've got these coconuts. Alright. Yeah, I think we just need to sort of 
decide what we want to bring with us while we're in the deep mines uh, and we might have to just store a few things here and there so uh, all right let's make our way back home and I think we're pretty much calling it a day guys I'm trying to remember if there's anything that we've forgotten to do for the day uh, we picked up a new task today which we immediately completed with Franklin so no issues there task wise yeah I think really it's just around preparing ourselves for tomorrow's excursion into the deep mines and yeah we should hopefully find either a lot of treasures or a lot of rubies or maybe some unique things like uh, maybe even catching a fish in the deep mines I don't know we'll see exciting times anyway leave a like dislike or a comment or two down below stay true and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.